Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about how to connect a double DIN or a single DIN stereo system. And I'm going to talk a little bit about rear view camera installation and how you can successfully do it. And also talk about what these wires actually mean on aftermarket system and how to hook up to a stock radio harness that's already in your car. At this point, this is a Sony XAV68BT uh, double DIN system. It's going on a Kia Sedona minivan. Uh, any double DIN it'll fit. So if you look in the back, um, all these wires that come out of this Sony Studios wiring harness has to be hooked up to the car's wiring harness. And you get a adapter like this specific to your car's make and model. You can get it from Crutchfield or Amazon or somewhere. Um, and basically you tie these wires to the Sony's set of wires. You can either solder them or use these POSI connectors, which I really like. Basically you just, it's like wire nuts. You just uh, screw them on, uh, you know, and it keeps them nice and tight. These colors of each wire mean something. There's usually five um, standard wires that you see in spite of what the make and model is um, starting with the yellow wire which is the constant battery wire basically it's getting a connection straight off your car battery and it's always on 12 volts connection to the battery so that's the yellow wire and then you have the black wire which everybody knows is the ground wire you can hook it up to the black on the um, unit or you can hook it up to the chassis uh, whichever so it's a ground wire the red on the other hand is the acc wire which also mean <coughs> it's it gets power when you put the key on so the radio comes on when you put the key on uh, this is what controls it so you got the yellow constant on red key on black ground and then you have this orange wire which is illumination um, this will dim and this orange wire is the one that controls that then you got these two blue wires if you notice there's a solid blue wire and then a blue wire with the yellow uh, with the white stripe on it so the blue wire with the white stripe on it is called the amp turn on which basically sends a 12 volt signal very low amp signal uh, voltage to the amp to keep it on. The minute you turn off the car, the um, it no longer sends the signal, so the amp will turn off, saving you um, battery drain. So that's what this blue and white wire is for. Too. If you're adding an amp, this is uh, for a subwoofer or something, this is really important to have this blue and white wire. The total blue wire is usually for power antennas, um, if you have a car that uh, has an antenna that goes up and down when you turn on the radio, this is what controls it. So most of the modern cars, they have antennas built into the windshield or uh, the rear glass, uh, but it's there if you need it. So all these wires are basically power wires, the one I'm holding, the yellow, red, black, blue and white, blue and orange, all related to giving power to the stereo system. The rest of the wires here, however, are totally different uh, purpose. All these wires are audio related. They're basically in pairs. If you notice, there's green and green with a black stripe. Purple, purple with a black stripe. Gray, gray with a black stripe. And white and white with a black stripe. All of these are front and rear speakers. So you have four sets of uh, speaker wires here that goes to individual one just match the same color with the harness uh, on the other side and you basically have gray to gray white to white white black to white black purple to purple things like that so that's it you're done hooking up all that stuff uh, that'll get your thing up and running however a couple of things uh, we need to talk about here are um, the parking that is a totally separate green wire on this system 
If you notice, it's a sparking brick. What it is is, if you have a, have a DVD in built into this thing where you can watch movies, this wire has to be hooked up to the parking brakes uh, switch in order to play the DVD. It's a safety system, so you don't watch DVD while driving. Um, on some studios, if you just ground this, it'll work. On some, you really have to provide a 12 volt signal to it for it to work. So that's what this green wire is for. Then you have this purple white wire, which says reverse in. This is kind of an interesting concept. Uh, this is what you would use for to connect the rear view camera. What it is basically is if you give 12 volts power to this wire, it'll flip the source to view the rear view camera. So you just hook this up to the reverse light. And what it does is when you throw the car in reverse, the reverse light comes on and it'll supply 12 volts to this and your screen will chain the input to show the rear view camera instantly. And that's what this is for. There's two ways you can do it. People give the same power source to, um, to the rear view camera from the reverse light and take the same power source and give it to here. So if you put the car in reverse, it immediately switches to that source and it, the camera gets the power and it displays the picture. That's one way to do, um, that's what it's meant to be. There's another way to do this is give the reverse light into this reverse in and then give this ACC, which is uh, your, when you turn the key on, your car gives 12 volts on certain circuits. Grab one of those circuits and power your reverse camera with that circuit. That way, it's constantly on. Your camera is on whenever your car is on. And when you throw it in reverse, you'll get um, that signal from that camera uh, and see the picture. As well as, you can go into the menu uh, on this unit and you can say reverse camera and you can actually see the camera while driving. You don't have to put the car in reverse to do that if you go the route of powering it with ACC and just hooking this up to the reverse uh, uh, light for source changing. And that's pretty much it with all the wires that are dangling down here. There's a couple more wires here which are uh, right here. This is the microphone for the Bluetooth. Uh, you just install it in a way that it comes up into the visor or somewhere you can hear your voice. Um, there's a few inputs here which basically is uh, um, two inputs and one output. One input is for the reverse camera that we just talked about which is this one and then also we have auxiliary input which is if you're running an extra DVD PlayStation or something you can run it through here. Uh, audio right and left and video here. And then you have a video out as well. If you're putting extra monitor in the back of the van or car uh, and you want to mimic what's in this screen showing here, then you take uh, RCA out of this and hook it up to that monitor. So that's basically all there is. This is the antenna hookup right here. Uh, from the stock factory thing, it'll just plug right in. So that's it, folks. You have all these uh, uh, connectors for the Sony unit. It goes for any other unit as well that's got the same structure. You have the USB and auxiliary in the front and it's a touch screen as well. So that's how we will connect it. I'll make another video to show how it goes in the car as well.